Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be visiting my home country, the Philippines. So I'm going to be staying mostly in Manila, but I'm going to go to the provinces as well. I hope this video can help guide you travel the Philippines and Manila like a local. Hello world, welcome to the Philippines. <laughs> Thank you, salamat. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a like, a share, and subscribe. And please be kind in the comment section. Okay, so we went to the Philippines to get skincare and I introduced this guy to one of the famous dermatologists or derm clinic in the Philippines called Bello Medical Group owned by the famous Dr. Vicky Bello. Mm -hmm. So we went, actually went here was uh, over two years, almost three years ago. Mm -hmm. and 2020 this was before the lockdown yeah and guess i remember like um he wanted to do procedures here in the u.s and i found out like they charge so much money and i said like in the philippines it's the entire procedure for that price so i decided to like take him to the philippines because i told him we take skincare very serious in the philippines like you have no idea so I decided to like introduce him to the most famous dermatologist in the Philippines, which is, you know, Bello Medical Group. Jonathan, say hi. We're getting our skincare routine right now. See? Look. And they look into his skincare. Because for me, I just needed like um, laser hair removal for like the face and like body. Just waiting for my treatment right now. I'm just waiting for my doctor as well. He just give me topical an anesthesia in my face <laughs> and in my body.
and then I need is like facial. <laughs> but they can record? Yes. Oh. Sandit lang naman. Pagbusa na kasi ako ng memo. <laughs> yeah. Or what kind of procedures did you get? It was uh, uh, sarangoma, I guess, removal. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, basically they used a laser and zapped me in the face. <laughs> yeah. And I remember we were eating in McDonald's and his face was bleeding. But it turns out, like here in the US, they wanted to like use a scalpel. Well, because that's something I didn't quite understand the first time, but they explained a little bit better this time was that um because before they always told me milia mm -hmm. that was milia and i guess i remember the first visit we had in 2020 her uh, the person saying that it wasn't all million that some of it was something else which i pretty sure was sarangoma mm -hmm. so milia uh, are these like little white bumps that are filled with something mm -hmm. and that's what they were talking about using a scalpel and then like pushing it out but I, I guess because it's not actually milia it was sarangoma which you can't you can't and how much push is it, it out. how much is it in the u.s I, do, I don't remember from the last time you told me like it's 300 dollars per prick no i don't think so that's too expensive Maybe it was more like thirty dollars. Thirty dollars per. Because per. then, if you do like just ten, that's three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. But in the Philippines, it's the entire procedure itself. That's why, and you've seen it yourself, like um, our obsession with skincare, especially skin whitening. What kind of treatments do you do here for whitening? We do scrubs, lasers, wet and dry dermabrasion, capsules, intravenous. Like I do skin white, I use skin whitening products myself. Yeah, well, that's a whole conversation by itself. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, you and know, you can look up other videos on that. Mm -hmm. He witnessed it himself. That's why. But yeah, um, basically, Bello Medical Group has this famous tagline, or should I say line? There's two of them. Like one of them says, Only Bello touches my skin. Only Bello touches our skin. Who touches yours? So would you mm. agree on that? <laughs> well, I, mean, I haven't really been to any, any other dermatologist, but... Mm -hmm. Do you want to be an endorser for Bella? <laughs> well, this this is not a paid in or paid endorsement or anything like that. We're just letting you guys know about our experience with Bella Medical Group. Well, they're very attentive. As you know, Philippines in general, we're very hospitable and you know, service oriented. But at least you experience the, ser the quality of service in the Philippines. Would you say you like it? Did you like the service you receive in the Philippines, especially with yeah, skincare? Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it had changed somewhat with the uh, COVID restrictions. Mm -hmm. it, did you notice like a difference between this time and uh, before pre-lockdown? Yeah, everything's by appointment now and all well, of that. Well, they were still, they were pretty much by appointment back then too. I was thinking more about the like the separation and like obviously everyone wearing masks and mm -hmm. which is obviously a little bit more complicated with something like that where you're dealing with a person's face a lot. <laughs> yeah, and they're very attentive when it comes to like things, especially for me. Like I had laser hair removal for the face and then like facial. And I remember they were pricking my face. Like I didn't realize how dirty my face is. 
when they prick it like crazy. <laughs> and then I guess this time of year when we went was in uh, December before Christmas. It's apparently very busy for them. Mm -hmm. And they're telling me stories of like people having Botox before the lockdown. <laughs> And like I was telling him, like, well, Botox is not a necessity, right? <laughs> but like, yeah, that tells you how obsessed we are when it comes to skincare. And that's the reason why I invited you over so you can, you know, experience it as well. And she has another famous line as well. She said, like, mm -hmm. I'm planning to make the Philippines the most beautiful country on the planet. It's my motto is to make the Philippines the most beautiful country in the world. Would you agree on that? The only place I know of that's obsessed with like skincare in the US is LA. Because they do like not just plastic surgery but like you know Botox and fillers and all of that. But for us like I just needed facial and for you skin laser treatment as well. Would you like to do another well would you like to come to Philippines again for another round of skincare? I don't know. Not would, anytime soon. <laughs> would you like to experience like having a facial and all of that? What about laser hair removal? Uh, I think I'm okay mm -hmm. for the most part. <laughs> There's this skincare I wanted you to try called Thermage. Where they're gonna use, I think it's Radio Wave on your skin. Or, oh no, Radio Wave or something like that. And I think the other one is Ultera. They use ultraviolet vi rays. Mm -hmm. It's gonna give you like the lifting and all of that. It's gonna make you look younger. That's why, because we're obsessed with like looking young in Asia. It's not very common here in the US, but in Asia it's a big deal, like looking like a porcelain doll. It's not just women, but guys do that as well in Asia. But yeah, would you recommend Bello Medical Group to any of your friends in the US? I guess. I mean, it's not like I have anything else to compare it to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, how's your experience here in the US when it comes to like skincare? I, I don't know. It's not like I've had very much. Mm -hmm. It's too expensive in here, right? And insurance doesn't cover it. Yeah. I don't think insurance cover it in Philippines as well because it's, it's a cosmetic procedure. Yeah. But still, compared to the US, it's still more affordable in Philippines. Like in the US, I think the only thing you can get really covered is just a uh, uh, dermatology general screening. Mm -hmm. Where they, they, they look not... not for like doing anything but like cosmetic but just like your general skin health mm. and look for like any signs of like skin cancer or something like that that you can probably get covered by health insurance but mm -hmm. anything else is not going to be covered oh but yeah i remember we went to one of their clinics in bgc and you didn't realize she walked past us yeah well i don't know my mother who she is yeah no my mother is there as well my mother is there and like she was telling me because i was paying my bill in you know um in the accounting department and she walked past us and the entire staff greeted her hi doctora or something like a queen like miranda priestley or something <laughs> But yeah, and then and then I didn't realize like, oh, she walked past us, and like you probably didn't know her by by yeah. I, I think by your face. mom mentioned someone walking past, but mm -hmm. like I didn't know who. Yeah, because there's a famous celebrity who came into the clinic in BGC. I think it's Rian Ramos. I think a celebrity, and then basically all the celebrities, it's her who's doing the treatment. Mm -hmm. Like she's very personal when it comes to like special guests. I remember her doing. Um, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. Victoria. Hello. This is Floyd. Are you looking for me? It's Floyd Mayweather. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You always go to the room, so I'll do a real part. You're so great. No wonder you enjoy. I love the place. It's nice. Oh, thank you so much. Well, Come in. Well, you know I've been traveling. We're all the travel and I've been having a chance to get my skin. You may be the best in the world. We'll just see. We're gonna put the robo. White robo is looking more professional. Can I raise it up a bit? Yeah, I guess. Because <laughs> Floyd Mayweather went to our clinic and, you know, I think he gets skincare or something. Mm -hmm. I think Thormage or something like that. But yeah, it's an experience. And I remember like a friend of mine messaged you on Instagram. She mm -hmm. said, she's asking like your first time in Philippines. She's asking, oh, where's Marlon taking you? And I, I was telling you, just tell her the word Bello. And as soon as she said that, like, oh, she said, fancy, because Bello is like really popular in Philippines. She's not just a dermatologist, she's an institution, should I say. 
Mm-hmm. Like when you say you're going to Bello, like it's fancy, like oh you got money, it's a flex right there on its own. That's what. Oh yeah, hopefully next time we can take your mother to your mother, your dad, your sisters, your auntie, so they can get skincare in the Philippines. We can give it to them as a gift. Do you agree? So yeah, hopefully I can take them and I'll you know I'll give them like a proper facial and all of that. If they want laser treatments and all of that, we can do that as well. We can discuss that. Mm-hmm. Any other thoughts? Um But you would say definitely the, the culture is different, whereas in the US, like you said, um outside of Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Especially it's not considered something normal for guys to do. Mm-hmm. But yeah, in Philippines it's a big deal. Like it can affect your employment. Date it can affect dating and all of that. Um basically like skincare is like a part of a big part of culture. Like people judge you based on the quality of your skin. They can determine your class just by looking at you, your skin quality. Especially like the skin bleaching aspect of it, like they can tell you have a lot of money if you are able to maintain your white skin. That's how she built her empire, like you know, skin lightening treatments and all of that. That's why. But in the U.S., if you mention something about skin whitening, they consider it racist right away for some reason. I don't know why, but in the Philippines, it's not taboo to like whiten your skin. And to get, you know, laser and like going to the dermatologist. Because it's a flex right there on its own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like, please share and subscribe. And please be kind in the comment section. And see you guys in a future video.